I think it looks very much like it, you know, as I've, as I've just said, you know, more and more um, Europe looks uh, like Japan. The ECB, uh, you know, has been unable to expand its balance sheet, um, you know, much as it tries to push money into the system, banks have, have over the last year certainly been paying it back. Uh, the TLTROs that they've launched, the, the two that they did in, in 2014, uh, take up was, was quite disappointing. It's not clear yet if any of that money is actually going to reach into um, the real economy. Europe has a problem with its transmission mechanism. Uh, in, in the States, QE is probably affected because it, because they're not so reliant there uh, on the banks to uh, to put money into the system. The capital markets distribute uh, uh, capital into into the economic system there. In the in Europe, its money transmission primarily goes through the banks who've been happy in the past to, to take cheap money from the ECB, uh, buy government bonds, sit on that and then eventually pay the money back. Um, so it remains to be seen how effective you know, quantitative easing proper w will be uh, uh, in the EU and uh, you know what other you know policy initiatives the ECB can launch. I think, I think the Eurozone is in a very difficult place. Notwithstanding that of course we've got the Greek election at the end of the month, that's a wild card and the prospects of a Greek exit from the Euro or you know a, them asking for $500 billion worth of debt forgiveness um, is, is a real thorn in the ECB side and, and, and you know, something they could probably do without. Well, uncertainty in any, any of the, the, the Eurozone countries is, is a concern. It, it, would be, it would be very unfortunate to have uh, you know, a political crisis in Italy just at the same time or in the run-up to uh, the Greek general election. Um, you, you, you only have to think back a couple of years ago when we, when we saw um, the last round of uh, political strife in Italy. Uh, Italy is a, you know, a problem economy. I mean, it, it's one of the biggest economies in the world, but the but the internal dynamics of that economy are very poor, very, very high unemployment, particularly amongst young people, which is approaching the levels that we, we saw in Spain at the height of the crisis. Uh, and, uh, you know, that, create, that creates uh, something of a powder keg. So I, I'd be very surprised if, the, if there weren't a, a little bit of a, of a reaction to that news, um, just because it could so easily spiral out to something else. So, you know, another negative... Uh, uh, feather in the euro's cap, if you will, and another another situation to watch. As I say, we approach the um, the ECB meeting on the 22nd of January, and the Greek election three days after on the 25th. So, you know, political tensions heightened again. I'd suggest.